Darkness to Light has a new CEO, Caitlin Brewer. In this edition of Quentin's Close Ups, I sit down with Caitlin one on one. Well, Caitlin, it is so good to see you. It's so good to be here, Quentin. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, you're welcome anytime. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And I want to take it back to November 16th. The following headline in Mutri Do says this Darkness to Light names Caitlin Brew as new CEO. Tell me, when you got the news that you were hired as a new CEO, where were you emotionally? Emotionally, I was ready for a change. I actually, a year ago, moved back from South Africa to Washington, D.C. And D.C. is lovely. I grew up there professionally. I have many good friends, um, my chosen family, if you will. But I was ready for a little bit of a slowdown. And so I was looking and then broadened my job search. And when Charleston and Darkness to Light came up, I knew that that was sort of a move home for me in terms of moving back to the ocean. Mm -hmm. Let me read the, a portion of this particular article to Please. you. It says, Caitlin Brewer has been appointed the new CEO of Darkness to Light. Brewer's experience includes leadership roles in fundraising, operations, and the development of global initiatives. She's worked nationally and internationally in a variety of capacities. Tell me, what is it like so far to be Caitlin Brewer, the leader? <laughs> well, it's fun. I continue to learn no matter where I am and what job I'm in. I spent the better part of a decade uh, traveling across the continent of Africa. And I think what you learn there is that your opinion isn't always right. And consensus building and understanding the nuances of implementation in cultures and, um, and communities is really important. And I think Darkness to Light as an organization embodies that. So after growing up and learning and professionally developing, to be able to lead an organization that already has a community-based approach right. and implement that nationally and even internationally, I mean, that's just, that's wonderful. As a matter of fact, the board chair of the Darkness of Light basically said this quote, Caitlin brings tremendous experience in not-for-profit management and a global perspective that will help amplify Darkness to Light's leadership in child sexual abuse prevention locally and around the world. So how do you expect to get Darkness to Light's name out there Globally. Globally. Well, we're actually in 17 countries now. Um, I'm actually on a trip to India next week um, to see sort of, you know, what is the, the conversation that's happening. I know that there are organizations that are already doing prevention work and how do we partner with them and help them use our expertise in the community programs that they're already working in. You know, I think in terms of, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't think you can do anything globally unless you're doing it locally. If your community isn't actively engaged and believe in what you do, and you're not actively participating in what you're saying needs to happen, um, then you, you shouldn't be thinking outside of the box. The good thing is Charleston has taken child sexual abuse prevention very seriously. We've reached tipping point here. The city of Charleston is a partner in prevention, as are all three school districts in all three counties. And I think for me, you know, that just is a model for the rest of the country and of the world. Um, in a leader in how you can prevent child sexual abuse. You talk about conversation. What has that conversation been like as far as child abuse in your mind? You know, I don't think there is a lot of conversation happening normally. I think Charleston is a little bit of a bubble because there's been so much work done here. Right. I would say that there's a lot of stigma associated with being a child sexual abuse survivor. Um, a lot of people haven't moved from being a victim to a survivor because they haven't come out and they haven't talked about it and they haven't processed. And so, you know, for us at Darkness to Light, it's not just about prevention. It's also about reducing the stigma and allowing survivors to feel as if there is a community um, and there's something that they can actively engage in because they might not have been able to prevent what happened to them, right. but they can help prevent something that might happen to another child. What is that stigma in your mind? You know, it's a stigma just because people are scared. They, they don't know what, how people are going to feel about their, their process, and they look at, at themselves as if they're broken, and that neither of which are true. It wasn't their fault. Um, and I think that you know, they're worried about how society is going to treat them after. Are they always going to look at me as the survivor first and the individual second? Um, it's a lot to process. Yeah, you're right. And uh, let me turn to this because personally, you actually received a bachelor's degree in international relations in I French did. from Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Yay! Shout out to Wheaton. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so who was Caitlin Brewer as a student? Uh, oh man, who was I as a student? You know, I grew up in Maine 
um, 1.5 million of us. And I knew that Maine had given me an incredibly solid foundation, but I was always itching for more. I mean, I remember my parents at the dinner table basically telling me that they didn't know, they didn't know how they had raised me, you know? <laughs> and two small town people who really loved being home and around family, and I was always like, what is the next city we're going to? And what is the next language I'm gonna learn? And I think Wheaton gave me that platform, you know? It gave me the platform to explore. I certainly hadn't developed into myself. I was um, searching for answers, as all college students, I think, are. And I was just excited at the, the platform that Wheaton was able to give me to do those things and explore and be myself and study abroad. And um, I was very fortunate, very fortunate. Speaking of yourself, who, who is Caitlin Brewer when you take off the leadership role hat? Um, I think that I am a very loyal friend. I have a lot of acquaintances. I am a Leo, so I'm a very big personality. But, you know, the, the, the small group of people that I spend every day with are the most important people to me. And uh, phone, calling them on the phone and, and living their, their lives with them, even if it is remotely, I think is probably the most important part of my day. Write the headline for me. Darkness Light will be in what? Darkness to Light will reach tipping point nationally by the year, I don't know, 2040, let's say. So what is that, 17 million people? Right. There you go, 5% wow. of the population. Wow. Yeah. Well, Caitlin Brew, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be here. Likewise. Take care. Likewise.